Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. On this video, you're gonna see me use my leftovers. And when I say leftovers, a little bit left in the bottom, been stood there 40 minutes while I was working on a project and I thought, I don't wanna waste this resin. So I'm gonna slap it on a canvas that I have. I'm going to hopefully cross my, fing cross my fingers and hope there's gonna be enough left and then uh, add a little bit of heat gun and hope that the pigments are gonna be very forgiving it's going to pop back together and um, I created this fun I think yummy little piece with it and it has such beautiful effects might not be everybody's taste but it's okay but what I find in here is I've added a little bit of sparkle it almost has like a uh, feel of space it's created its own special effects and what I love is that the the pigments have been forgiven and even though I worked them really hard, the vibrances pop through and I'm contemplating do I leave it as it is or do I come and add some kind of embellishment. But I'm just going to let and should I say, wait and see. I'm just going to come through and remove my tape, get rid of my resin nipples. But I'm super excited with that. So this video is a very quick one. You're going to see that process. Hope you still enjoy it and find value in it. And it just goes to show you, don't throw away any leftover resins. This is where you can be creative and practice and test things that you probably wouldn't normally do. Colour schemes and whatever you're going to do with it. Anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Thank you for spending the time with me. Thank you for my sponsors and thank you for just hanging out. I'm digressing. I'm Sharon. I'll see you on the next video. Oh, before I see you on the next video, watch the rest of this video. See this one, how it came together. All right. Ciao, ciao. See you at the end of this video and then make sure you come back and watch the next video. <laughs> I'm Sharon. I digress. Never know when to show up. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I've just been working on my base coat of my peacock and I have some leftovers and I'm not even sure if there's enough to use on this piece, but I don't want it to go away. So this is just a practice board that I've been using along the way. So I am going to, oh, it's all uh, setting really hard. So I'm gonna try and get as much of this out of here as I can and see if there's any happy little accidents that's going to come out of this. It is curing badly. But nobody wants to waste it. It's going to be enough. If not, What's the worst that can happen? I have to add some more colour. Looking at this, I don't think I am going to have enough. And I ain't going to be mixing any more.
putting it to the wire. Definitely not going to be enough. Yeah, let's see it up though and let's see what it's going to do. Might give us a nice base coat for something. Or not. Brush to brush it through. I don't want to lose any of the edge. It's like a unicorn. to the edges. Heat it up again. See if it's gonna make a base, a nice base for anything. Okay. Heat it up one more time. Not anything sexy, but it has been something. Interesting. 
Not too sure how I feel about it. I did have to stretch it a lot. And clean off my brush as well this way. too sure how it's going to dry because it was the leftovers dregs that were curing and I had to really heat it and I actually got my brush and swept it over and uh, but some of the colors are coming back and it could kind of look like a nebula yeah I've added some glitter some people might prefer not to do that but just to make it look like it's stars but I'm curious to see what this is going to be like when it cures and in the daylight to see if that's too muddy or if the colours have come back through and I really enjoy this piece. But you practice, you learn, you get better. See you on the inside of curing. Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. This has cured and I'm bringing you in for a close up to see how beautiful this piece has turned out so this is the one where I used the leftovers and when I'm talking use the leftovers there were virtually nothing left it had cured in the cup I ended up pulling my brush through creating that rainbow unicorn effect adding a little bit of heat gun and then just wanted to see if the colors would continue working pull back separate and create a beautiful piece with effects and I think that has done this you may have a different opinion I put some glitter on top, that's what you can see here, so there's a nice little sparkle in daylight. These little bits here, where I didn't mix up the pigment correctly, however, I like the effects, it's added texture to it. Just that right pop. Anyway, this shows you, never give up with your resin, always put what you've got in a spare board, and experiment and practice with colours, because you might find something that you want to work on in a bigger piece. But, you know the drill. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. And I cannot wait to hear what you do with your leftovers. And I'll see you on the next video. Other than that, be kind, be creative and digress. It's fun. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.